Oh, the crap we put on TV these days. Ugh. Just weekends to uh, showers and some steadier rain. So, after I'm done with this court, after I'm done doing some goofing off, guys, I gotta charge the camera back up and do some other things. But right now, guys, I still can't believe though. 510 subscribers? But yeah. Simply because of that activity and because of the cloud cover. When it's not raining, it is going to be overcast. Temperatures reaching into the lower and middle 70s. Oh, two. So I'll be done by then. Stuck in the 60s farther north, Lexi. I'll let you know when we keep back up again. That's about 10 minutes from now. Take out these pants. Change these pants. I know everyone doesn't want summer to end, but the school year is fast approaching. And with inflation rates reaching record highs this year, it is going to cost more to send kids back to the classroom. News Channel 3's Amira Austin is joining us live in studio with how much more parents will be paying for school there. supplies this year. Hi, Amira. Hi, Lexi. From pens and markers to backpacks and clothing. Well, I have a whole pencil box full of junk, so I'm good. I stocked up. Yeah, these pants are a piece of junk because they couldn't fall apart. Back to school rally here in Kalamazoo to help families. Yeah, they were hush today in three years. The National Retail Federation says U.S. families are still spending $11 billion more on school supplies this year than they were three years ago. That's about $168 more per family. Clover, a, a consumer data company, says the price of Scotch tape products has surged 70%. From the <sighs> Sharpies are up nearly 55%, and Elmer's Blue is up 30%. The only exception is Crayola Crayons. They've seen a steady drop in prices the last few years. Now today, Collaboration Kalamazoo, made up of six local nonprofits, will be hosting its fourth annual Beyond the Backpack School Readiness Fair. The event was scheduled to take place at Bronson Park, but due to the rain in the forecast today, the event will now be indoors at Mount Zion Baptist Church on Roberson Street from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Well, it's me at Hus Elementary School. Hus old Hus School. Okay, Amira, thank you. Well, with the news <laughs> right around the corner in Michigan, schools are preparing to see a bump in funding. They're also battling a laundry list of challenges. Those include low staffing, political attacks, and now inflation. Michigan <sighs> schools have been underfunded. Advocates and educators say this year there is hope. That I need to write down some real quick before I start working on some more videos. <laughs> Okay, what's the like number news? Personal consumers are our school buses for a lot of these. So this one is gonna be twenty two. It's just twenty two. I mean simply food items. So when you think about a school district who's uh, feeding breakfast and lunch to students, uh, and by the way we're providing free breakfast and lunch for students, those costs I know have gone up. Inflation also impacting staffing levels when schools aren't able to pay enough to teachers and staff go. rising costs. It can be hard to keep a full staff, but there is a solution to addressing rising costs. Lawmakers keeping millions of dollars out of the budget to be used for another project. In an election year, both Republicans and Governor Gretchen Whitmer have considered using those dollars for tax cuts. But the Michigan Education Association hopes it'll go to schools instead. It belongs to the school. Our school districts are already yeah, fucking up. The school district is putting a safe for an AR-15 assault rifle and ammunition in the The Vero School District Sheriff says it's all in an effort to help keep students safe. The AR-15 is only inside the school while the resource officer is on campus. They bring in the AR-15 rifle in a case in the mornings and put it in the safe at the school. Then they remove the rifle from the safe when they leave in the evening. Some parents are supportive of the measure. I would not want... Concern. Come on, a, a 9 millimeters is good enough. The schools have not had an actual incident where they needed to use their weapons. The Department of Justice Keep it nine. launched an investigation into the Southern Baptist Convention. The SBC issued a statement yesterday confirming the probe. It comes after a third-party firm issued a report in May accusing SBC leaders of mishandling allegations of sexual abuse in the church. That report claims allegations were ignored <gasps> while accused church leaders were never punished. It went on to say church officials have resisted attempts to reform for two decades. Southern 20 years. Say they are dedicated to correcting past issues and are being YouTube. fully transparent. 
The church says that sense of transparency is guiding full cooperation with